Hello, Angela here, and welcome to week three. This week's theme is variety, joy, and self-care. So this is going to be a very fun week, as you can imagine, because it's all about joy. And it's a very big deal. When I was healing from CFS, I learned that one of my biggest triggers was the fact that I didn't have enough joy and variety in my daily life. And as you can imagine, I was very fatigued. So, you know, I did not have a joyous life. I didn't feel well. But once I found out that that was my trigger, I started finding ways, no matter how fatigued I was, to create more joy into my life and more variety. So it doesn't have to require, it doesn't require a lot of energy, it doesn't require um, a lot of money, it doesn't require a lot of time, but it's so important to incorporate this into your life every single day. And everyone's a little different here. This is very individualized of, of what brings you joy and what um, types of variety you need in your life. Some people need more, some people need a little less. I need more, so I know that um, I have to incorporate a little more into my life. And if you're not sure of how much you need or what your body likes, you know, just try some experimentation and see how you feel. Also, you know, looking back to when you were younger, perhaps a child, um, when you were more in your authentic truth and your um, in your body more and not in your mind so much. See, you know, see what are the types of things that you like to do. You know, were you really adventurous as a child? Um, did you do a lot of things, a lot of different variety, or um, not as much? So that's more your um, true nature of what types of things and how much variety you need in your daily life. Um, and this can really kind of be your gauge point to know how much you do need. Um, you know, the theme is every every week that my theme is different, but the overall theme is staying with your your truth, your true nature, your authenticity. So this still goes in the same way. We are all very different and we need to find things that really bring joy to us, to our bodies, minds, souls, and um, knowing that we deserve to have this joy in our lives. When we when we are joyous and when we care for ourselves, we can care for others better and be a better person in this world. So really knowing that it's not selfish and it's more selfless to um, take care of yourself. And one way is to bring more joy into your life. Now talking about variety, like I said, we all need a little variety. The body likes to switch it up a little bit. You know, the body likes um, different meals every day you know we don't want to be eating the same thing every single day you know maybe switch it up a little bit we don't need drastic changes but just you know change up some recipes um, little things like that you know change your route um, when you're walking um, very simple you know different music just anything that is creating a little more stimulation variety into your routine. Now I do want to say your body does like routine when it comes to sleeping at night. The body does like to go to sleep and wake up about the same time every day and night. Also the body does like to eat about the same times every day. So this really creates um, trust within our body to know that Yes, in fact, we will sleep every night, and yes, in fact, it, we are going to feed ourselves about the same time every day. The body does like that, but other than that, you know, we can, we can have um, a little more spontaneity into our lives. And you, can, you can, of course, plan out your, your, your joy and variety to make sure it happens, or you know, you can just go more with the flow, see what works for you and your schedule. Um, sometimes I plan it out ahead of time to make sure that I'm going to get it in. So on the same note, I want to talk about self-care because self-care can be very loving and joyous to ourselves. And it's very important to incorporate this in your day. 
So bringing some self-care into your life can be, again, the small things. You know, when you're brushing your hair, just don't rip through your hair. We want to practice some gentleness and ease and love into um, our daily routines. You know, when you're putting on massage or putting on lotion in the morning, instead of just slapping it on, you know, maybe give yourself a little massage and see how that feels. Give yourself some love. Give yourself some care. This is very important. Like I said, when we care for ourselves, we can care for others better. In my group, I'm going to incorporate some self-massage into the day. I'm also going to bring in my essential oils. Because essential oils have brought me so much joy and also it really works well with self-care and self-massage I even incorporate it into my yoga class um, my yoga practice at home so I'm going to incorporate it into the yoga class um, for week three and it'll be a very good time one way to do that is this is a motivate blend it's a very wonderful blend. We can put it on our wrists. So when we do yoga, we don't want to be putting it into our hands because our hands could be slippery. We don't want to fall. Putting it onto the wrist, into the pulse points. And when you, before you start your yoga practice, bringing your hands together, bringing them to the forehead, taking a deep inhale and really smelling those essential oils. It can be very uplifting, very energizing, um, or you can choose one that's more grounding and centering. My all-time favorite is Arborvate. This is a very grounding, but also in the same time, it's very opening and lifting. It's very good for the respiratory system. Um, it's also called the Tree of Life, and you'll notice if you use this, you will understand why it's called tree of life because you kind of feel like a tree of life when you do this. That's my favorite. It's really good for meditation. Um, for meditation, you can even put it under um, the bridge of your nose there or under your nose above your lip. And um, that way you can smell it in, you can focus on the breath or your mantra or however you meditate. And um, it's really good added benefit really helps with meditation so it's just something to try at the end of my group program we're going to be doing a metta meditation or a loving kindness meditation and this is really a good way to sink in the love and the self-care and the nourishment you have for yourself and then i'll begin to um take you through a sequence when you can share the love with others in your environment in your family and then extend it out into the world so remember when you take care of yourself you can take care of others better it is not selfish to find joy and self-care into your life every day when you are supported and taken care of you are just a better person in this world so I encourage you all to find things that you used to love to do. See if you love them again. Find some new things that you love to do or that you may enjoy doing. And take the time for self-care every day. And let me know how I can support you more. As always, I wish you all the best and I wish you lots of joy. Namaste.